All right, let's look at some applications for our square root method. All right, so let's remember here that h is going to be ground level. t is going to be the time in seconds. And s is going to be your initial height. So looking at the application method, okay, looking at the falling, uh, falling object model, we know that h is going to be ground level, t is going to be the time, and then s is going to be your initial height or your y-intercept. All right, so let's look at example number one, or question number 15. It says, a diver steps off of a 25-foot diving board and lands into the water. How long does it take the diver to hit the water? All right, so I want to know how long, which I want to know time, which is equal to x or t, I guess I should say. So I want to know what is the t value when the diver steps off of a 25-foot diving board. Now what is this? 25-foot diving board, that is the initial height. So that is s. All right, so I know what? I know that the height is 0 because you're going to land in the water. So height is going to be equal to 0. I know it's negative 16. I want to find t, so I'm going to leave t there. <coughs> and I know the initial height is 25 foot, so plus 25. All right, now I'm going to do the exact same thing that I've been doing, right? I'm going to isolate for my x squared or my t squared, same thing. So we're going to subtract 25 on both sides. Negative 25 is equal to negative 16 t squared. I need to get the t by itself, so I'm going to divide by negative 16. So I get t squared equals 25 over 16, positive 25 over 16. Now again, I get, want to get t by itself, so the opposite of squaring something is to take the square root. Those are going to cancel out. So t equals plus or minus, because when we take the square root, we have a positive and a negative solution. Well, the square root of 25 over the square root of 16. Well, the square root of 25 is 5. The square root of 16 is 4, so we have t equals plus or minus 4. Now, let's talk about this. It says, how long does it take the diver to hit the water? Okay, well, can t be equal to negative 5 fourth seconds? Okay, you cannot have a negative time. So when I have a positive and a negative case, in this case, since it's an application problem, the only possible solution is my positive 5 fourths because you cannot have a negative time. So yes, I get two solutions, but only one of them applies to this problem. So t equals 5 four seconds. Okay, I can say 1.25 seconds, same thing. That makes more sense. All right, it says Jacob drops a ball from a fifth story balcony that is 50 feet from the ground. How long does it take for the ball to reach the ground? So I want to know again, how long does it take for the ball to reach the ground? This would be height of zero negative 16. I want to know how long, so I'm asking for the t value. So leave the t there. And it says it's 50 feet from the ground. So it starts out 50 feet from the ground, so the initial height is positive 50. So there's your equation. We're going to subtract 50 on both sides. So negative 50 equals negative 16 t squared. We're going to divide by negative 16 on both sides. We get t squared equals positive 50 over 16. We can take the square root on both sides. So t equals the square root of 50 over 4. Okay, we can reduce that. Square root of 50 breaks down into 5 and 10. 5 and 2. So those come outside. So the square root of 50 is going to be equal to 5 square roots of 2 over 4. Okay, so t equals 5 square root of 2 over 4, which that doesn't make sense as far as seconds go. So I would just write that in decimal form, which is like 3.7, 1.7 seconds. All right, Clay drops a water balloon from a 20-foot platform onto Bailey's head who's four foot tall, how long does it take for the water balloon to reach Bailey's head? So again, we're looking for how long does it take for the water balloon to reach Bailey's head. So my initial height is not going to be at ground level. I want to hit Bailey's head, who's four foot tall. 
So 4, not 0, because 0 we want it to reach the ground. We don't want it to reach the ground. We want it to reach 4 foot high. So 4, my height, is going to be equal to negative 16 t squared. And it says he's already on a 20 foot platform. So plus 20, my initial height of 20. Same thing, I want to solve for my t squared, so subtract 20 on both sides. We get negative 16 equals negative 16 t squared. Divide by negative 16 on both sides. So we get t squared equals positive 1. Last step, we're going to take the square root to get rid of the squared. So t equals plus or minus 1. Now, once again, what solution makes sense? How long? So t has to be one second. T can't be a negative one second because we're talking about seconds. You can't have negative time.